to the face of Spencer Lanning right there. Is going to take it in backward and score. On the route, and Randy Moss, without even really being able to run as he shoots the move. Peel back block, and that's going to be a fine, and that's going to be... In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the most disrespectful moments that have occurred on the football field. Let's jump in. Number 10, wild card, Randy Moss mooning celebration. On January 9, 2005, the Green Bay Packers welcomed their adversaries, the Vikings, to a confrontation in the wild card round of NFL playoffs. Early in the fourth quarter, following an impressive completion of a 34-yard touchdown courtesy of Duante Culpepper's pass, which extended his team's lead to 30-17, Moss went to the goalpost, and there he bent over and pretended to moon at the spectators assembled at Lambeau Field. For this act, NFL authorities fined him $10,000. It'll be remembered as the most disrespectful moment of the NFL. Number 9. Juju Smith-Schuster Vicious Block on Vontaze Perfect with just over seven minutes to go in the final quarter, the Pittsburgh Steelers found themselves in a second and 10 situation, facing an unfavorable 20 to 13 score against the Cincinnati Bengals. Showing proficient capability under pressure, quarterback Ben Roethlisberger strategically dispatched the ball off to Le'Veon Bell. As Bell advanced toward this significant milestone, Vontaze Burfecht of the Bengals was aligning himself for a tackle when he regrettably fell prey to Juju Smith-Schuster, a rookie receiver of the Steelers. Juju blocked Perfect by hitting him with his shoulder. Perfect hit the ground so badly that everyone around them stopped playing and thought for a while about whether he would be okay or not. Number 8. Antonio Brown kicks Brown's punter Spencer. An unfortunate incident occurred during a hurdle attempt that did not go as planned. During the second quarter of Sunday's match, Antonio Brown of the Pittsburgh Steelers took an ambitious jump over Cleveland Brown's punter Spencer Lanning. The outcome of this jump was not as Brown predicted. Instead of clearing his opponent, Brown inadvertently delivered a substantial blow with his foot to Lanning's face. For all those who are not aware of this NFL rule, let us tell them that players are strictly prohibited from intentionally inflicting facial injuries via kicking on their body parts. The National Football League has imposed a penalty of $8,200 against Brown about the said incident. Number 7. Bill Romanowski spits at J.J. Stokes This unpleasant incident happened when players were gathering around after the game. Stokes reportedly felt that Romanowski made inappropriate contact by touching his groin region. Instead of solving this matter decently and calling for an explanation on this matter, he responded by spitting on his face. Everyone was shocked at this misconduct displayed on the field. Romanowski was fined $7,500 for this misconduct by NFL authorities. Number 6. Terrell Owens celebrates on Dallas Star and gets hit. On September 24, 2000, Terrell Owens, a wide receiver from the San Francisco 49ers, exhibited an exuberant celebration following his touchdown. Owens ran a fade and caught the ball from quarterback Jeff Garcia in the fourth quarter. Owens then rushed to midfield to smash the ball over the iconic Dallas Cowboys star, only to be knocked by Cowboys safety George Teague. Following the play, Owens eventually stood over the star, accomplishing his goal. This act provoked significant irritation amongst the Cowboys' teammates. Number 5. Golden Tate takes the ball from Jane and taunts disrespectful moment NFL. Tate executed a splendid leap over Jenkins to capture the pass almost 50 yards downfield. Immediately after, he provocatively gestured towards safety Rodney McLeod during the concluding 30 yards of his victorious run to the end zone. Tate was penalized for this act of taunting and received a stern reprimand from head coach Pete Carroll on the sidelines. Number 4. Deshaun Jackson Revenge In his determined quest for a bold catch, Jackson famously ran toward a touchdown with Allen following closely behind him. After he scored, he celebrated like a bird flapping his wings as he scored against the Eagles, which is a bird. Perhaps what set tongues wagging was Jackson's audacious act during the final 30 yards, stubbornly mocking his opponent's unsuccessful attempt at catching up to him as he proceeded to surreally run backward into glory with another victorious touchdown. Deshaun Jackson achieved a commendable score of 117 yards in total during this play. Number 3. Minka Fitzpatrick Body Slams Chris Conley In the amazing game between the Steelers and Jaguars, Chris Conley astoundingly took the ball, launching into a run for a touchdown. However, Minka Fitzpatrick was strategically positioned to intercept his trajectory. Fitzpatrick expertly immobilized him by gripping his legs and skillfully dropped him to the ground. Number 2. Aqib Talib snatches a gold chain out of Michael Crabtree's neck. 
In the first quarter of Sunday's Raiders vs. Broncos game, there was a fight between Michael Crabtree of Oakland and Aqib Talib of Denver. A little over three minutes into the game, Talib went for a second and six run by Marshawn Lynch. Crabtree blocked the play, forced Talib out of bounds, and knocked him down on the sideline. From there, Talib was surrounded by the Broncos and removed Crabtree's helmet. A fight broke out between the sides as Raiders players started assaulting Denver players as they gathered around Crabtree. Initially, Crabtree turned to walk away, but soon after, he started punching Talib, who was still wearing his helmet. Well, in 2017, these two players got into a heated argument, and Talib grabbed Crabtree's train off his neck during a game. Number 1. Aqib Talib, the infamous eye poke. The crucial game was hard fought until the final possession, where unfortunate penalties eliminated the Broncos' potential for a last minute resurgence. Contrarily, following Frank Gore's modest two yard run that led to third and seven, an altercation ignited between Von Miller of the Broncos and Dwayne Allen of the Colts, which attracted interference from Aqib Talib. Demonstrating unorthodox aggression, Bronco cornerback Talib unexpectedly violated Allen by poking him in his eye. Talib's action drew a flag for unnecessary roughness, which resulted in a seven-yard penalty, thus gifting the Colts another first down. Consequently, time was spent as the Colts wasted the time with the ball here and there, leaving no comeback opportunity for the Broncos, who never regained ball control. The NFL is a passionate and competitive league. Moments like these destroy the sportsmanship and spirit of the game. It's important to remember the core values of respect, integrity, and competition that leagues strive to uphold. Players should avoid such incidents from happening again, and the NFL should implement strict rules so moments like this are avoided in the future.